to begin this painting activity, we are going to set up um, a little palette. So you will notice here that I have some different colors. Um, they are all the primary colors, but some of the primary colors I actually have more than one of. So let me explain. So you will want to start out by finding the yellows, okay? So you'll notice that there is one that says cool yellow and one that says warm yellow. This is going to help you achieve different colors, okay? So if I set this up here, here's my warm yellow compared to my cool yellow, okay? So this, these colors are gonna be better for mixing certain, um, better at mixing other colors than some of the others, and we'll take a look at that. So then you'll see that there are two blues. There is a warm blue and a cool blue. So let's look at the difference in these two. All right, so we can't really see much of a difference now, but we will when we start mixing colors. Okay, so then we have a warm red and a cool red as well. And then we have white and black, but I'm not gonna add those in yet. So here is the cool red. So you can see a slight difference between those, okay? So <clears throat> using your color mixing pretest, we are going to start filling this in, okay? So the colors around in the middle, that's just where we're going to put our colors, all right? So I'm just gonna start with my yellow. This is going to be where my pure hue is, okay? So what I want you to practice with this is practice brush control. Getting nice, even sections. We're going to continue filling this in and what I would do is I would strongly encourage you to fill in your primary colors first. Okay, so yellow, blue, and red. So I'll quickly do that and speed up the video. You notice that with what I'm doing with my brush, if I'm switching out color, I'm just using a paper towel to kind of wipe that off um, so that it can be clean instead of using water. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to fill in my red and blue and I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so we started with these three colors because these are the colors we don't have to do any mixing for. All of the other ones will require color mixing and this is what I want to talk about, okay? I'm not going to fill out this entire thing, but you are going to um, need to use this as you, as you keep going, okay? So... <clears throat> The way that this color wheel works, okay, it's a formula. So if I need to know how to make green, I'm gonna look at the colors that are on either side of it. So yellow is here, blue is here, halfway in between is green, that's how I know that the color green is made by yellow and blue. So we talked about those warm yellows, those cool yellows, and all of how each of these primaries has a warm and cool. So let's just quickly look at the difference of the colors that we see here, okay? So you also need a palette knife or just a regular plastic knife and we're gonna use this for mixing. So if I wanna mix um, yellow and blue to make green, let's see what happens when I use a cool yellow and a warm yellow with the blues and see how that makes a difference. So here I'm using the cool yellow that looks a little bit brighter. I'm just dragging this over here, take your paper towel, wipe it off, and I'm going to do this with the, I believe this is the cool blue as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this together. So that produces a pretty nice solid green color. All right, so I'm gonna just color swatch it here. All right, so now what happens when I use this color, the warm yellow with this blue. Okay, we get a little bit of a different color of green. So if we color swatch it, it's a little bit darker, okay? So what happens when I use this color yellow with 
this one. Okay, so I'm not getting as bright of a green now. It's kind of like an olive green color. Um, it looks a little brown, okay? Um, so that's why it's important to know the colors that we're using. So like if I use this color again with this blue, if I'm trying to, so we have even a darker color now that really does look like an olive green. It looks completely different than what this first color is here. So that is what the purpose of these warm and um, cool colors mean, okay? So let's just do this one more time. I'm gonna, same thing happens if we're doing the purple, if we're mixing blue and red together to make the purple or the violet, okay? So just take a look at how it's different when I use this this combination it almost doesn't look purple at all let's put a swatch there okay Ugh. that really isn't doing it for us here I'm gonna make sure you can see that okay so then what happens when I use this color with this blue purple can be tricky so oh that's not gonna be it Okay, so those aren't really looking like purple. So sometimes when we're mixing our purple together, what you need to do is we actually need to add a little bit of white to it. So there's my tiny bit of white. So if I just take this to the color right now, start to get more of the purple color we're looking for. Now, sometimes instead of using red, we can also use a magenta color, which I'll provide to you as well as you need it, okay? So, to head back to this, we are going to fill this in, and we are going to do that by um, mi mixing shades of the colors, okay? So, what I'm gonna do here is if I, I'll do the yellow green section as well as the yellow section so you can kind of see what you need to do for this entire thing. So for the yellow green, what that means is that you are going to mix yellow together and green. So what I would do is I would fill in the primary colors, yellow, blue, red, then I would go in and do the green, violet, and orange, then go back in and do the in-between colors. Okay, so if I were doing my green here, I'd have this nicely painted in here. So then I already have green made up, so now I'm going to use the yellow green. Okay, so to do that, it's really simple. You're just gonna take the green that you had, mix it with one of the yellows, and I would pick, um, I would pick the color that maybe, you know, for the yellow, one almost looks a little orange, okay? So now we have a yellow green and I am going to fill this in and this becomes kind of a lime green color here. Okay, so you're gonna work on filling in that color wheel. Now you'll notice that there's two other spaces on here and that is to mix tints and shades. So what I would do is work a row at a time, okay? Kind of like one of these little pie pieces. So I have yellow green here. On the outside, you're going to be creating shades, okay? A shade is a color plus black. On the inside, you're going to be doing tints, which is a color plus white. So what I'm going to do is this yellow green, I'm going to kind of divide the color in half that I have mixed here, okay? And I'm going to add just a little bit of white to make the tint, the lighter version. And when you're using this palette knife, just make a little circle. Don't spread the entire thing out. Otherwise you just waste your colors, okay? So yellow, green, my tint's on the inside, so it definitely looks lighter. Okay, and then for that last one, 
you are going to use a shade, which is the color plus black. So we'll put a little bit of black on here. And then not where I've mixed my tint, okay? But where I had my yellow green, I'm just gonna add a touch of black to it. Might almost look a little grayish. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So with this, we want it to look like the color that it is. We don't want it to just be, you know, black. Okay, so here is my shade. You're going to do this with every single one of your colors. When you are entirely done with this, you need to make sure to rinse out your brushes and your palette knife, but any leftover colors that you might have, because you probably won't finish this all in one day, what I want you to do is take your palette or your plate that you have, you will get a Ziploc bag, and you will carefully Place this in here and it will go in your bin.